Greetings, ECPS families. We're so glad that you could join us today for the school year 2021 Family Guide for Enrollment. We are excited to welcome you for the school year 2020-2021 enrollment season. To help mitigate the spread of COVID-19 in our region, all our schools are currently closed. To accommodate social distancing restrictions, we developed an electronic submission process to receive enrollment forms for this school year. The platform that you will be using to fill out the forms is called Seamless Docs. In this video, we will give you a series of tips that will help you complete this process. First, it is important that you will have all the items that you will need. Number one, an email address. This will help us communicate with you during the process. You will also need an electronic device. This could be a computer, smartphone, or tablet. All students new to DCPS will need to provide a proof of age. And all students enrolling into DCPS for this school year will need proof of DC residency. Please note that this is the in the requirement of the Office of the State Superintendent of Education, or also known as OSSI. We will show you how to complete this process step by step in this video. All right, let's get started. You can find our enrollment forms in our enrollment page located at Enroll DCPS. Dot dc dot g o v. The links to the forms in English is included in the description of this video. Please note that the forms are also available in our six official languages, Amharic, Chinese, English, Spanish, French, and Vietnamese. Before accessing the forms, we highly recommend that you review our frequently asked questions, which, is, which are also available in our six official languages. When you click on the forms, you will first see the cover letter. It is important that you read the cover letter in its entirety. It includes detailed information about the enrollment process, and the documents that you will need. To move forward to the enrollment form, you will need to click Accept and Next. The enrollment form is a total of seven pages. You must read and complete all seven pages. Make sure that you complete all the required information. All required information is noted by a red asterisk. Complete and review all the forms before you select the signature here option on the bottom of your page. If you are unable to complete all forms in its entirety, you can select the save and continue later symbol located at, located at the bottom of the page. It looks like a floppy disk. After saving what you have completed, it will prompt you to create an account with Seamless Docs so that you, you can retrieve it later. Just click on the Register Now button at the bottom of the page. We highly recommend that you have all your documents ready so that you can, can complete the process in one sitting. It's highly recommended that you do everything once in one sitting. Once you have read and completed all the pages, you will be able to sign and submit your forms. If there is any required information that is missing, a red bar will appear that will highlight the missing information. The red bar will also indicate which page you have missing information. We recommend that you check page two, make sure that your phone number has dashes in between the digits 
and that your date of birth has the full year. Another area that families may miss or are the yes or no questions. Um, these questions will ask if your student has allergies, a 504 plan, medication, an IEP, or dietary restrictions. Also on page three, we recommend that you select yes or no for DC resident. DC resident and also indicate if you are the parent's guardian, if you are the student's parent or guardian. Once you have finished all required information, you will then need to attach necessary supporting documents. New students must submit one proof of age. Acceptable proof of age document examples include a birth certificate, hospital records, previous school records, a passport, or baptismal or a baptismal certificate. For enrollment in a public school in DC, parents or guardians must provide proof of DC residency for each student that they are looking to enroll. Be sure to have all your documentation saved on your device and ready to be uploaded. Documents can be uploaded in multiple formats including pictures. You can take a clear picture and save it on your device. Please note that all documents must include the same name and address of the person completing the enrollment process. Note that some documents, you might only need one item or you might need two items. Make sure that you review the DC residency form very carefully. We have included a link in the description of this video with the complete list of approved documents. If you need additional details about the acceptable documents, you can watch a later video for more information. That video is called Enrollment Essentials. Along with the enrollment packet, you'll need to include the proof of age and proof of DC residency and in order to upload that, you have to click the click here to upload button. Once you click the click here to upload button, you'll be prompted to a page where you'll be able to share your files through any storage platform. This could be your email account, or it could be Google Docs, or it could come straightly from your computer. You can use multiple document formats, including images, and select the method that works best for you. Remember that you can also email your documents to the school directly if you prefer. If you need any additional support with this step, watch our next video, Enrollment Essentials, on how to add, attach, and upload your documents. Once you have filled out all the pages and uploaded your documents, you'll be ready to sign your enrollment packet. To sign your forms, you will need to follow the instructions to create an electronic signature and select apply signature in the six spaces that require it. There's one space on page two, one space on page three, three spaces on page five, and one space on the last page, page seven. Please note that when you select to apply your signature, you'll be clicking on a shaded box that says click to apply. Once you, before selecting finalize and submit, we encourage you to review your forms in detail. Once you select this option, you will no longer be able to make any changes to your forms. If you made a mistake, no worries, it's okay. You can always contact your school directly. We have a, included a link with contact information for each school's enrollment point of contact in the video description. Remember, you will also be asked who else needs to sign this document. Select the school in which you are completing enrollment forms for from the drop-down menu 
and press continue to submit the enrollment packet. This is a very crucial step and it ensures that your packet goes to the right school. Once submitted, you will receive a copy of your submitted packet. The school will then review your submission and follow up with you as needed. You will then receive another email with a copy of the packet signed by your school, which signifies that enrollment is complete. Enrollment will not be considered final until the school official signs your forms and you receive an email confirming that this has happened. All right, do you have any questions? Are you still confused about anything or are you having difficulty with this process? Always contact your school directly to ask the enrollment questions you may have. You can also contact the enrollment team via phone at 202-478-5738 or by email at enroll at k12.dc.gov. Or you can call the Language Acquisition Division at 202-671-0705. For questions about the My School DC lottery process, please call the My School DC hotline at 202-888-6336. We recommend that you read the Frequently Asked Questions document and review all the links that we have included in the video description. Thank you so much for your patience and thank you for being part of the DC Public Schools community. We're so excited to serve you and your student for many years to come. We hope that your family stays safe and healthy. Looking forward to seeing you in this upcoming school year.